Hey Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you for being here with me. Today, we're going to be looking at who is coming towards you. So any sort of love interest or romantic person who's coming forward, anything that I can predict for you, um, seeing this person, I will be relaying over to you. So all the messages, um, I'm going to be relaying those over to you, Water Signs. This can be for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would be amazing. I'd love you to join my little YouTube family. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up for you water signs. Who's, who's coming up? Who are you going to meet? Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, pretty powerful. There is a Libra coming in for some of you with the Justice card. Okay, the Justice and the High Priestess. Okay, this is a very family-orientated person. This person will want a family with you or they'll want kids for sure. Okay, Depression. This person has been held back before. I'm getting a sense that... You may have rejected this person before, um, water signs. It can be someone familiar to you. Uh, and it's like you almost had a relationship. So, okay, but this time it's going to be different. I don't think you had a relationship with this person before. I just felt like you came very close. But yeah, okay, so very powerful attraction. With the ace of wands okay strong fire energy or a fire chapter i feel like this is someone who's going to be super super attractive um it's someone very energetic uh water signs but it's someone who is very family orientated and this person is looking for someone to start a family with so huge huge romantic kind of person here but like uh, i get a sense that you have an existing attraction you may have had a crush on them or you just always had them in your sights but you guys never actually hooked up or you never actually sort of made things happen uh and now that's about to change and it's like the universe is bringing this person to you so you can actually pursue something for real this time and see um how that goes but okay so i feel like they're a very active individual i feel like they could be very spiritual with the high priestess they could also have kids okay from a different um a different relationship excuse me um or they're very uh centered they're very earthly i also feel like they could be quite psychic or have a very natural um psychic ability they could also work with children um as well i also feel like they may work in rehabilitation or fixing people's problems like they might be in therapy they could be a counselor they might have um, might go to psychology um, classes they may be earning a psychology degree they have a very benevolent energy so they could even partake in like charity events um so they like to get active especially in the community is what i'm getting so you've got a real go-getter um so you've got a very kind person uh, that's coming forward lots of crystal energy which is giving me earth vibes i do see that libra i would say fire or earth so aries sag leo um Taurus Capi Virgo um, is coming through for this person. Oppression and Five of Crystals. Okay, you, when you meet them, this person will be coming out of something really, really big in their life. Like they've, they've done it tough. Uh, they might have lost someone very significant. They might have come from poverty. It's like they turned their life around. But I also feel like oppression is telling me you rejected them and they felt kind of oppressed by the situation or they felt like they were powerless or they weren't in control. So, Something happened here between the both of you. You have some sort of history here. Now, it might not be emotional history, but it's definitely here. Four of Crystals, they're coming back because they want something more serious. The Justice card is here, which is telling me this is a person who was a big believer in karma. Um, I also feel like they're super duper romantic. This is Taurus and Libra energy. So they could be under one of these signs. Um, but I feel like it's also like officiating things. So this person could have an official title. Um, maybe they've got a doctorate in front of their, um, a doctor, uh, signature in front of their name. Uh, maybe they, um, officiate something here. They could be work, they, they could work with law, psychology, contracts, um, 
it seems very corporate like so you could be meeting through the corporate realm or meet through um these uh, to be honest i feel like it's attraction that's connecting you so it makes me think that you know who this person is and they've been maybe looking up your social media they've been around maybe they've been waiting for you to break up with the person they've been waiting for the right time to approach you but i definitely feel like it might be someone you've already been introduced to it might be someone you've had the pleasure of meeting you might even have had a one night stand with this person like there might have been something physical that happened between the both of you um yeah that's that's coming up very powerfully actually um six of ones this person is very successful we've got the twin energy so this is gemini some of you might be connecting with the gemini here as well uh but this is a card of victory so i feel like this will be a relationship that moves very very quickly okay things will unfold very quickly and they'll want to lock you down quickly so they'll want the relationship They'll want the kids. They'll want things to be official. Remember, this is someone who wants things officially done. So this is someone who will want these official things with you. Um, and because they're so dominated by fire energy, I feel like they're going to be pretty impatient when it comes to those things um, as well. Look, there's quite a lot of people around them. So they may have a large social circle or a lot of siblings. Okay, serenity, this person needs peace. So it makes me feel like they live a very chaotic life. Like they're constantly busy. They're attending a lot of events. They're constantly doing things. They're very, very active socially. They have a lot of friends. I wouldn't be surprised if they work in like events or with people very closely. And that means they have to, you know, just be everywhere. But they really are the life of the party is what I'm getting. So you do have quite, um, quite an outgoing um, person here I feel like they may have recently come out of a relationship here as well possibly with an air sign so I feel like they've ended something here but I feel like it's almost like opened up a door for them to get to you or maybe you've ended something and they're like okay I'm I'm gonna slide into their dms like they'll want to get with you uh, and they'll go they'll go that way here the tower card they're not after drama they're not trying to make you jealous they want you they will want you very much. Um, but I do get it's a sense of, uh, I, I get a sense of maturity. So I sense that this person could be older. Now, if they're not older in age, I feel like they've got a bit of an old soul. So you might find that they like really, really old style music. Um, or they're into things that have happened a long time ago. Or then maybe they like history. Or maybe they're into the, the esoteric realm. There is a wisdom that comes with this person or, you know, they could be just full of wise little quotes or like maybe they read ancient books. Like there's a real wisdom and a maturity um, that's coming up with this person because as a figure, they're coming up as the high priestess. So, and I get like they're quite enlightened. And to be honest, I'm, I'm going back to that five of crystals and oppression, whatever they sort of suffered or whatever they witnessed when they were young or went through, um, I feel like it was maybe in their younger years, they have learned from. And it's just made them connect with people. Like their soul connects with so many people from so many different walks of, white, uh, walks of life. So there's, there's a huge versatility. Um, there's a willingness and there's a, a, a versatility to this person. So I think you're really going to enjoy that. But darker features, potentially, I feel like there's a darker link. So they may have darker features, darker hair. Uh, they may even dye their hair lighter, but naturally it could be darker or it might go lighter in the summertime or when they're out in the sun. But I feel like it's darker features next to this person. Um, and I feel like there's a thin, a thinness or a slenderness to this person. So they could be super lean. Um, they could be quite thin, quite tall, um, you know, have a, an oval face or a longer face rather than like a round um, or square shaped face um, we've got the phases of the moon so this person might have cancer placement here somewhere uh, okay then we see this feather which i think is linking back to the justice card truth and honesty they're a very honest person 
or there's a message here that their honesty with you is going to be what starts your um, relationship. So like I said, they might confess that they have this attraction towards you or they'll confess, look, I broke up with this person. I've always been interested in you. Let's make something happen here. Like their direct communication, their direct message is to let you know that they're free, that they're single. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're letting you know this either in subtle ways, maybe in not so subtle ways. Um, look, I think they're going to be more direct than subtle. That's the vibe I'm getting from this person. I don't think they know too much subtlety. They're not a reserved person. They're pretty out in the open um, and they, they're comfortable enough to sort of talk about things, which I really like. I feel like emotionally you'll be able to open yourself up to this person and they're there. They're there for the taking. They want love. Um, they're going to give you the emotional security you need, water signs. So this is very beautiful. This shows that they are willing to be your person. And I get a really anchored energy with them here as well. I don't think they've been married before. I think they may have had a long-term relationship. I don't get that this people has dated a lot of people. I feel like they're, they've had a string of like long-term relationships that just for whatever reason um, haven't worked out. But they're very... Um, they're very closed off about this. I feel like they hide it. There's there's definitely something that they are hiding, something that's beneath the surface. You know, we all carry secrets. We all carry something that we have done, may not necessarily be proud of um, or something like this. So I think that's, that's coming out next to this person. So they might have done something they're not proud of or been a part of something um, that... Yeah, they weren't weren't too happy about. So there is a side to them that you won't see right away. That's going to take time. That's going to take patience. But I feel like with your love, you know, I don't think a person this this person has felt love like what they'll receive from you. It's next level water signs. You guys are big big lovers. I don't care what anyone says. So what this person will receive from you they haven't received from anyone else um i'm also seeing you're going to collaborate with this person i think it's going to be like an entrepreneurial ship or you're going to become the power couple so essentially i see this person being really encouraging so they might get you into a new trade they might get you into university they might get you into something they're very encouraging and they're going to have a very positive effect on you in this regard because it's like you're going to reach more of your potential with this person. They'll be your biggest supporter and they're always going to be in your corner. So, you know, that's super refreshing. And despite everything, they're so positive. Like life has struck them down, but they're still positive. Go them. Okay. Very headstrong is what I'm seeing. Okay. They could have like a Middle Eastern link here as well. We've got the... Um, We've got these Egyptian little traces, these hills and mountains and deserts. So they could be like from a very hot region. Okay, they could live in the desert. They could live in a very um, like remote area. Uh, there might be a fascination here with like Egyptology, for example, or um, something like this. I'm getting a lot of outdoors. So this is a very outdoorsy person. Okay, nature walking, camping, hiking, boating, fishing, swimming. Anything that's outside, they want to do it. And they like to push themselves. So I do get that they're very physically fit as well. Um, I'm also getting a generosity with this person. So prepare to be spoiled by them. They could have a bit of money next to them here and they could show you a wonderful time. They might like to buy you gifts or do something special um, for you. But... Yeah, look, I am seeing that they have some sort of wealth next to them or they've, they're in a position to give. They might not have been before, um, but now, now they will be. So it's definitely an attraction. I'm not that, you know, there is a small possibility it could be an online thing. Um, but to be honest, I think there's people that have introduced you to this person 
and then maybe you've kept each other online or you've added each other or their profile might pop up and that's how things will unfold. You'll get in touch. You'll be like, oh, hey, didn't I meet you at so-and-so's party? Or don't you know so-and-so? Or you'll see like mutual friends between the both of you. And I think that attraction is going to be so powerful that it's just, it's, it's going to be bubbling up inside the both of you. And the next thing you know, you just, you have the opportunity to date each other. And I feel like physical intimacy could happen very fast as well. Okay, I do want to say that sometimes this person avoids drama. So I want to say there's a part of them that has an avoidant style of attachment. And I feel like when things get a bit tough, they might sweep things under the rug a little bit. That's the vibe I'm getting. So they're open in some ways, but like I said, this sheet that we're seeing and this like avoidant kind of energy because the tower, they don't like, they don't like confrontation actually is what I'm getting. They don't like to argue. They don't like drama. They don't like confrontation. So they are a problem solver, but I feel it's more for other people rather than themselves. I think it's someone who dishes out wonderful advice, but then when it comes to them, they can't take their own advice. So, you know, that might be something you'll need to work through with this person, but they're pretty fair. There's a fairness to them here with the justice card. Um, and they're all about giving what they're receiving so uh yeah so i think it's a it's a more balanced kind of energy um and that would point to a good thing but yeah i'm getting more fire than anything else libra taurus and fire aries sag leo uh energy hmm I also get that they may have lived many lives before. Okay, if you're into that, if you believe in that, I feel like this person has led very many different lives before. And I feel like them coming up in this reading is telling me you are meant to meet. Okay, there is definitely a very strong karmic vibe between the both of you. Um, I do feel like you are meant to cross paths. I feel like this attraction was meant to develop into something. Could be Leo coming through here as well, maybe. Um, but I don't really feel like this is meant for you and I don't think it's simply an attraction because you're going to feel more and there's the high priestess is telling me there's unfinished business and their purpose in your life will be revealed now I also think that them coming into your life is going to open up doors for you and I mean that in a spiritual way they will help you grow as a person their purpose will be revealed to you when they enter your life they're going to be teaching you something that you are meant to do in your life or some sort of connected to some sort of purpose you're supposed to have in this life as this person as a lover as a partner as a person as a uh, spiritual being so this is big like there's big revelations and there's huge potential here between the both of you um absolutely i'm telling you they'll want to settle with you i see this person is in a period of their life where they're wanting more and they're going to come to you and ask you for that I'm going to leave it there though, water signs. So thank you again for being here with me. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, please. That would be amazing. And I'm sure I'll catch you all uh, very, very soon. Oh, and if you were after a private reading with me, please email me and I can send you over those details. They are subject to availability. So it really just depends how busy I am. Um, other than that, thank you everyone so, so much for all your ongoing support and I do hope to be in touch again very, very soon. So lots of love and bye for now.